From quirky gadgets to vintage wonders, let's rediscover the charm of appliances that once ruled our homes but are now relics of the past. Can you recall these gems? Join us in exploring a bygone era of home appliances in this video. Like the video and subscribe to our channel if you like the taste of nostalgia. Let's get our hands dirty, starting with the laundry game of the past. Back in the groovy 1950s, the laundry game was no high-tech party. Forget washing machines, folks rock the washboard or rubbing board vibes. Picture this, wet, soapy clothes getting a dance workout as they rubbed against the board, busting moves to loosen up that dirt. But hold up, we weren't stopping there. Enter the mangle or ringer, the ultimate squad member, giving clothes a superhero squeeze to drain more water than your regular hand-wringing session. Drying time? Ain't nobody got time for that. Fast forward to the electric era, and boom! The water boiler stepped into the scene, led by the rock star brand Burko. Imagine a colossal electric kettle, ready to party. Now, the laundry heroes, mainly the awesome women, could crank up the heat and handle larger laundry loads, like laundry bosses. Talk about sizzling laundry moves in the 1950s, can you imagine yourself doing all this? Let's get into the cleaning game of the bygone era. Back in the pre-fitted carpets and vacuum cleaner era, it was all about the loose rugs and mats scene. Cleaning? That was an outdoor adventure. Imagine folks taking those rugs and mats for a wild shake and beat session, showing dirt who's boss. But wait, the non-electric hero enters, the carpet sweeper. It's like a cool gadget from a vintage cleaning arsenal, designed to swoop in and pick up bits and fluff, making sure those floors stayed spick and span in between the epic outdoor rug beatings. Talking about home appliances and leaving the kitchen and cooking behind would be an unforgivable sin. So let's talk about mincer first. Picture this vintage gadget, clamped onto the table, ready for action. Lumps of meat went in at the top, you cranked the handle, and voila, minced magic emerged at the front. Monday meals became a feast, with shepherd's pie taking center stage, a delicious encore to the Sunday roast. And then, there was the jelly mold, a shining star of every child's birthday party. Weekdays witnessed jellies in bowls, but for the grand occasions, out came the mold. The photograph captures the essence of those celebrations, a vintage 1950s aluminium rabbit jelly mold, a twin to the one that graced our family table. The rabbit jelly, a majestic centerpiece, stole the show at every birthday tea. Now let's talk Pyrex, the unsung hero of every modern kitchen in the 50s and 60s. Wedding presents for young couples often came in the form of Pyrex oven to table wear. Cooking and serving in style, that's how the Pyrex craze became a kitchen must have. And who could forget the hand whisk and rotary beater, those trusty sidekicks in the pre electric kitchen era? The magic whisk and its companions stirred up culinary wonders. But as time marched on, the electric handheld mixer, and the mighty food processor, with the iconic Kenwood chef leading the charge, took center stage, rendering the rotary whisk a charming relic of kitchen history. Can you recall the film roll camera, or are you too young for that? Picture this, a sleek, compact camera, always ready for action. Loading film wasn't just a task, it was a ritual, a delicate choreography of threading the film through gears and sprockets. Every click of the shutter was a commitment, a finite choice to freeze a moment in time. No instant previews, no deleting and reshooting, just the anticipation of what the developed film would reveal. And oh the joy of receiving those prints, a tangible testament to the art of photography. From family gatherings to vacations, the film roll camera was the silent witness, preserving memories on strips of celluloid. Each roll had a limited number of exposures, urging photographers to savor every shot and make it count. While the digital age has ushered in a new era of convenience, there's a nostalgic romance attached to the film roll camera. It's not just a device, it's a time capsule, a keeper of moments that unfolded in the golden age of analog photography. Analog TVs. Bit of fond farewell to analog TVs, those robust boxes with channel dialing prowess. Now, they sit as vintage marvels in your grandparents' basement, outshone by the sleek rise of flat screens. These heavy boxes, once the focal point of family gatherings, have transformed into conversation starters in the cool, vintage corners of our grandparents' basements. Picture this, a time when adjusting the rabbit ears or tweaking the antenna was a delicate dance to achieve the perfect picture. Fousey broadcasts, occasional static, and the ritual of fine-tuning channels, these were the quirks that added character to the analog TV experience. 
But Alice, progress had its own plans. In came the sleek flat-screen revolution, bidding adieu to the bulky analog counterparts. The shift was seismic, but the memories linger like the fading glow of a cathode ray tube. The retro vibes of analog TVs now stand as a testament to an era when family gathered around, eagerly awaiting their favorite shows, and adjusting the horizontal and vertical controls was an art form. Talking about pictures and films, how can we forget to mention VCRs, transport yourself back to a time when the concept of watching a movie at home, at your whim, was nothing short of futuristic magic. Imagine catching up on that missed episode of Mork and Mindy because your daily grind had you arriving home fashionably late. It's a world that comes to life around 1977, the year the VHS video recorder stepped onto the stage, changing the game of home entertainment forever. VHS, the unsung hero of the 80s and well into the 90s, became a household name for movie buffs. The battle between VHS and Sony's Betamax was an epic saga, and VHS emerged victorious, not just for being budget-friendly, but also for its two-hour tape storage, doubling the Betamax capacity. VCRs weren't just machines, they were time-bending wizards, introducing the concept of time-shifting. Suddenly recording a broadcast show to watch later became a reality. And then came the birth of video rental stores. By 1988, they numbered in the tens of thousands in the US. Friday night movie rentals became a cherished American pastime. While VCRs didn't fade into obscurity overnight, the slow march of technological progress began. Laser discs took the stage, boasting videophile appeal with superior quality. The late 90s witnessed the arrival of DVD players, and the format wars ensued with HD DVD and Blu-ray joining the party. In 1998, HD VHS made a valiant attempt at high definition, but the digital wave was on the horizon. Enter Netflix in 2007, delivering the final blow to analog movie tapes with its groundbreaking streaming plan. The last flicker of the VCR industry came in 2016 when Funai, the last standing producer of VCRs, ceased production. On the same note, a fresh memory perhaps, an MP3 player. Ah, the rise and fall of MP3 players, a technological comet that streaked across our lives with a brief dazzling brilliance. The inaugural star, MP Man F10, graced retail shelves in 1998, heralding an era of portable music that would captivate us until its swan song in 2012. Bowing to the supremacy of the smartphone. Picture this, a time when having your music on the go was a revelation, and MP3 players emerged as the sleek successors to clunky portable cassette players. No moving parts, often pocket-sized, they were the symphony in your pocket. In their early days, MP3 players were a tad finicky, Copying music was a cable affair, or you had to wrestle with memory cards like a digital maestro. The Rio PMP 300, a 98 sensation, shipped with a whopping 32 membi of memory. Oh, how times have changed. Then came Apple's game changer in 2001, the iPod. It refined the concept, became the rock star of portable music players, and ushered in an era where having a white earbud cord was a style statement. But, as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. By 2014, Apple was pulling the plug on most iPods, acknowledging the inevitable. Steve Jobs himself labeled the iPhone as the best iPod we've ever made, sealing the fate of the once revolutionary MP3 player. The demise wasn't due to a lack of love, but rather the relentless march of progress. Smartphones, those all-in-one wonders, absorbed the essence of MP3 players and rendered them obsolete. Would you like to see more? Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.